It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Germany again, a Pilsner from Germany again. And I'm reviewing so many German beers recently on the channel because I just really love the stuff. From their Crystal Weisens to their Weiss beers to their Dunkels to their Pilsners to their every other style of German beer out there. It's all good quality stuff. And it all conforms to the German Reichheischerbot, which means you can only use four ingredients. So I'm quite confident in that what I'm putting into my system, it's, it's raw ingredients, malt, hops, yeast, water. 5% ABV is called Berliner Pilsner. Dark brown bottle. Gold bottle cap. Now this is the same company that produced the the Berliner Weiss, the Berliner Weizen. It's a it's a it's a kind of a style of beer that's from that area of Germany where where it's it's the water quality that makes the beer, and of course it's that kind of sourness that comes through. It's like. with that style of beer, the Berliner Weiss. But this is not the Berliner Weiss, we're not here to talk about that. This is the Berliner Pilsner. So how long... Now, normally with German beers, let's have a look at another one. <laughs> this one doesn't either. What about this one? <laughs> this one doesn't either. Okay, normally with German beer breweries, they've been around for donkey's years. They've been around for years and years and years. But the last three bottles I've just picked up, there's no, normally they're like 1675, or you know, they've been brewing for 300 years. So beer in the glass, then look, look at this, see? Eh? Look at this. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic looking beer. We've got a three to four finger white head. Good levels of carbonation rising up the side of the glass. The, the carbonation is fantastic. The beer is perfectly clear. It's straw coloured. Fantastic. 5% ABV looks really, really good. I'd like to thank our channel sponsors, beersofeurope.co.uk for sending us today's beer. Beers of Europe.co.uk, the largest online beer store in the UK with a fabulous range of beers from all over the world. If you've been to, I don't know, Spain or Portugal, if you worked away in Germany years ago and you want to try that special beer, maybe even this one, maybe you loved this while you were in Berlin in Germany and you want to drink it back in the UK, well, the best place to find it and one of the most reasonably priced places to find it in the UK is beersofeurope.co.uk. Link in the description box of the video. Let's get on with the review then. Let's get the aroma. It smells good. A light, crisp wafer biscuit like malt coming through. That offers, in your mind, that offers a, a crispness. You, you're already thinking this is going to be really crispy and lovely. It's like pepperiness coming through. Touch of stinging nettle, maybe a touch of lemon, something like that coming through. Smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful beer. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. Really crisp. Really refreshing. Starts off with that light, almost fluffy, like wafer, like malt crisp flavour coming through. Oh, 
oh, a little bit of carbonation, pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. But it's so refreshing and drinkable. There's, a, there's that lovely stinging nettle flavour I was talking about earlier on. That's coming from the hops. So with the German breweries, they use a traditional German hops. Could be Halletau, something along those lines. And they're very closely related to the stinging nettle. That hop that they use is very closely related to stinging nettles as a plant. It's the, on the Darwin Tree of Life, they're cousins on the Darwin Tree of Life. So, so although they're using a hop, there's a very kind of distinct stinging nettle flavour that's coming through, which is fantastic. It's such a good beer. I can imagine being in Berlin, German beer garden, big glass like this, just sitting there enjoying life. I did it with a Warsteiner once while I was in Hamburg, drinking Warsteiner in a Thai restaurant and it was just incredible sun was shining in the beer garden eating some noodles and chicken with a lovely cold beer it's absolutely fabulous i tell you what i like to do because there's no real date on here and because of course i'm interested in this brewery what i like to do I, i've got i've got a so with a lot of the British breweries, I kind of know them. I know their history. Another part of why I love reviewing German beer is because I'll grab the rest of that pint now. I'll take it into my computer. And whilst I'm editing the video for YouTube, whilst the video's processing, I'll open up another window and I'll put Wikipedia up. And I'll open Wikipedia and I'll, and I'll read up on Wikipedia, all about the Berliner Brewery, the Berliner Pilsner, how it came about. And I just find it really fascinating and interesting. I think it's, it's an extra kind of, when you've got that little bit of knowledge, when you know a little bit about the brewery, it really helps. When you're drinking the beer at the same time, it's, it, you're drinking part of that history. You're reading Wikipedia, you're drinking part of the history. Love it. So I'm going to rate this. There's nothing really on the back. Water hops, yeast, malt. Um, they haven't said what hop they've used in the beer. It's a half litre bottle, 5% ABV. It's good. It's very good. It's a stone that grows 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.